Welcome back to THB Sports Weekly. We're here at Falls Park in Pendleton as the fall sports season winds to a close. We have three high school football teams still playing this week. Elwood travels the 10th ranked Winchester in Class 2A. Pendleton Heights hosts Mount Vernon in Class 4A and Anderson hosts Huntington North in Class 5A. The winners of those three contests will advance to next week's sectional finals. But our focus is on the state finals for cross country, where the Pendleton Heights girls and boys have qualified for the state meet. We caught up with Pendleton Heights senior Alex Buck, a contender for the girls overall state championship. Welcome to Falls Park here in Pendleton, and we are here with Pendleton Heights senior cross country runner Alex Buck. Alex, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. How has this season been for you? What's it meant for you in, in your final year? Is it settling in, I guess, at all that, that Saturday will be your last high school race? Uh, it's crazy to think that it's coming to an end, but it's been an incredible season. I've loved every second of it, and you know the team's been incredible. They've made it um, so special, and along with all the support that we get from the community and you know teachers at school, it's it makes the whole experience that the more special. So you know I'm thankful to have that experience. After everything you've been through up there in Fort Wayne, I think that's where you broke your foot one year and finished the race, uh, even with a broken foot. Uh, what did it mean to, to get that victory on Saturday and come out of that, that semi-state with a championship? Uh, that was really neat. You know, that's what I had gone into the race kind of hoping to do. And I think this year, at least, it was more about the team in that case. I felt uh, pretty confident in my ability to be able to handle that field. But it was about going out there and scoring one point for my team. And I'm glad that I was able to do my part. I saw some people kind of refer to this team as a machine because <laughs> you're so efficient. Uh, what is it about this group that allows you to keep being so productive and so consistent every week? Um, these girls love to work hard and they love to see that hard work um, also form into you know success and achievement and so that's what pushes them. They're extremely um, competitive and that's really fun to watch you know at practice but even more fun to watch at a race. What have you learned over the years about the course at Terre Haute that you can maybe use this time around? Um, take it easy the first half. <laughs> it's kind of a downhill start so you get plenty of girls that take off absolutely flying um, but you just kind of have to you know sit with the pack everybody will kind of fall into place and then you know once you hit your spot it's time to race then. What's the goal on Saturday? What's it going to take both you individually and, and as a team for it to be a successful day? Um, well, as a team, I believe if everybody runs uh, to their best ability, I believe we could make the podium, which is the top five teams. Um, and I think that's possible because I see how hard these girls work and I see what they've accomplished at practice. Um, and so I think it's possible and I'm excited uh, just to have that opportunity. Um, and individually, um, I'm going to be attempting to win, get, grab the state title, um, which I understand is a huge goal. Um, um, and I know we've got some other great individuals shooting for that as well, but um, I'm going to give it everything, and I feel if I do that, I'll be pleased no matter how the race turns out. Sounds great. Thanks a lot, and good luck. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. We also ca caught up with Pinot Heights girls coach Melissa Hagerman. The Arabians are making their third consecutive appearance at the state finals. Welcome back here again at Falls Park. We are here with Pendleton Heights girls cross country coach Melissa Hagerman. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking your time and being out here in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> no fun. It's kind of nice, you know, other than the rain. It's good temperature here. Uh, how I've heard stories that, that this team's out there running and there's ice on the roads. There's there's snow on the ground. Can you talk about the commitment of, of these girls to, to get to the to the level that they've been at right now? Well, I promise that I, I don't torture them, um, but yeah, that's what it takes to be good, and they know that, and um, you can't let the weather get in your way. Um, the only thing that really stops us is lightning, and that's just not safe, but they're dedicated, and they're there um, six days a week doing what they're supposed to do, and, and it's because of the, the commitment they have to the team and each other. It's a fun group. You look at the bond of this group, it seems unique, it seems kind of special. I mean, we heard stories at the sectional, Alex actually held back, wanted to run with her teammates on, on her final run at her home course. Can you talk a little bit about that chemistry and, and what it means? Um, they spend a lot of time together, um, and they're, they kind of form kind of a family-type atmosphere, and they, they 
you know, they argue like sisters and they get along like sisters too. But, you know, when it comes down to a race, they do anything for each other. And um, that, that bond forms in June when we start practicing and it just continues. I hope they build lasting relationships so when they graduate from high school, they still stay in touch with each other and, and have great memories. Third straight trip as a team to the state finals. Is it different? each time around does it change each year? Um, I think we get a little smarter, um, a little more experience and the girls who have been here all three years um, they share their wisdom with the younger girls and um, yeah I think it just it, it becomes an expectation for them um, and they just they just continue to grow on the last the last race and, and set their goals just a little higher so yeah it's, it's good experience. You look at the schedule this year leading up to this you made some changes you went to some different meets that, that you maybe hadn't been at how much did that help this team in preparation for the postseason oh that helped tremendously just um you know you can run up front and and be successful but um i think it's good for them to to have girls pushing them that aren't on part of their team and just getting used to that atmosphere. There's always some play, somebody to race against. Um, I know it's been great from, you know, for Alex, it's been great for everyone on the team to just to have that extra push. And so when they, they hit the state meet, they've had that competition and they know what it's like to, to be doing well for their team and still be in 20th or 30th place. What will your message be right before the race when, when you get them to go? What are you going to tell the girls on Saturday? Relax and have fun. I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, you know, you got to appreciate being at the state meet. Um, you got to enjoy that. You know, not every kid gets that opportunity. And so I just want them to go out the first K and relax, not get caught up in the atmosphere and um, settle into their race and then go to work at the third K. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach, and good luck on Saturday. And our final guest this week is boys coach Alan Holden. His Arabians are returning to the state finals for just the second time in school history and the first time since 2009. Welcome back to Pendleton Heights High School. We are here with boys cross country coach Alan Holden. Thanks coach for joining us. Yes, I'm glad to be here. Coach, uh, six years since your last trip to Terre Haute. How does it feel to, to be going back as a team right now? Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, it's uh, when many years I've been coaching, you know, you know, it's not easy and having the right kids. And uh, this year, I think the kids were uh, the runners, you know, that made a big difference, too. So we have runners and that's all I think it is about is running. So uh, it made it a little bit easier in coaching anyway from that. What have you learned from the previous trips? I know it's been a while since you've gone, but what have you learned from your previous trips there that you can use this time around? Well, I think, uh, you know, we've got a lot of experience there, at least for single people making it there. Uh, but as a team, the first year we were there, uh, we went there just to enjoy it. This year we were, we were going to do a little bit better now. We're doing more than enjoying it. We're going to show that we belong there. So I think that we learned, uh, learned that this time uh, of just not celebrating getting there. We plan to perform well. I know all year long you've been in the state rankings, you've faced some top competition. How has that helped prepare you for this meet? I think for any time you can get good competition, it's going to help all of them. It prepares them on how to, how to race, the race strategy that they have to use. And I think you know just good competition makes uh, a better athlete. Parker Jones kind of been the leader of the team. He's been out front most of the time. What do you expect from him on Saturday? Well, I'm looking at Parker. I would like to see him in the top 20. Top 20 is actually recognized as being all state. I, I think he's capable of being there. Uh, so we'd like to shoot for the top 20. How about for the team? What what's it going to take for you to feel like Saturday was a success for the Arabians? Well, I'm, we're looking at maybe uh, probably in the top uh, top 15. I think that would be a, a pretty good showing on our part if we can make the top 15. All right, thanks a lot, right. Coach, and good luck on Saturday. Thanks, George. We want to thank Alex, Coach Hagerman, and Coach Holden for joining us, and thank you for watching. You can all, as always, you can get updates at HaroldBolton.com or follow us on Twitter at thbsports.